A chain does not need to be cleaned after every ride. Uh, here's an example. This chain's actually pretty good. Take a rag, wipe off the outside, put some lube on it, that's fine. So this is not a, a disgusting, filthy chain uh, that, that needs cleaning. It is possible to over clean chains. This chain is a better example of a chain that needs cleaning. You can see the pulleys are disgusting, a lot of filth. So this is something that could benefit from a chain cleaning. But uh, don't assume just because you've done a ride that your chain needs cleaning. Uh, so not only is the chain dirty here, uh, the pulleys are dirty. So we're going to actually start by wiping the pulleys clean. When it's this dirty, we may want to also just get some uh, some gloves. So uh, step one, a rag. Uh, this is probably going to be um, ended up really filthy. We may just toss this one afterwards. But dirty job, get a dirty rag. So here I'm going to go to the lower pulley, try and wipe it off. You can see the big pieces falling off here. A screwdriver can scrape. These little gear brushes have a, a plastic end that can be used as a scraper. So we're going to get in here and get off the muck and the, probably some, some grass, maybe pieces of big blue stem, goldenrod, who knows what, what this bike contains. So try and get the pulleys clean as best we can. Uh, these cogs are also filthy. I'm not going to worry about them. This is actually a case of pulling the wheel and then wiping them down separately. Chain rings, wipe off what you can inside and out. Then we will get to the, uh, to the chain. Another case where this aggressive bristle brush can get inside and clean. So. Uh, that's what we begin with before we even get the chain cleaner out when it's when it's this dirty. So to clean, uh, we're going to use actually two different ones. We have uh, some chain cleaners here. We've written solvent on this one. This one is going to be for our solvent. It's a delimonene based um, degreaser. Uh, we can actually get lots of uses out of this. So we're just going to keep some fluid in here and fill it up as as we need so there's springs that we open up you can see the spring here that's closed so we pull that back that's open if the springs are gone or missing you can just hold it down with your with your thumb that also works so here I'm engaging the chain in the lower case I'm going to put the top lid on, I'm going to close, and I'm going to close, and now we want solvent just about to that line, and it goes in the back here, so we're filling it up now with solvent. Again, uh, we can just keep it in there, that's why we keep it in the, uh, the cleaning tub, the chain cleaning tub, if it spills a little bit, no big deal, we can get many bikes out of out of one set of, uh, of solvent. Now the important part, we're going to back pedal. We're going to go backwards and we're going to hold the tool, but be sure to hold it straight. Don't twist it up and down. Notice the chain's horizontal, cleaner's horizontal. So it's like this. If you get twisted off, you're shifting the chain. So make sure it's, it's straight. You, you are effectively the guide pulley for the front chain rings. So we're distributing and scrubbing is passing through rotating brushes here. Distributing the fluid, you can see here it's starting to come off. So we're probably gonna go 30 or 50 times rotation on this one. Typically not, not uh, not this much is needed. Let's stop and have a peek. Yep, so I'll wipe that away there. It's looking clean underneath. So once the fluid's removed, I think we're actually, actually quite good. You can here feel, even through the gloves, there's some grit. So we're gonna remove that grit with a different solvent. 
uh, base, a different uh, system called soap and water. So that's off now. Again, I'm going to leave that closed. That's going to be for the next, the next dirty chain. Get lots of use out of that solvent. So, this one is soap. We get its top lid. So this is the soapy water here. We're going to do a second run through with soapy water. It's going to help remove all this grit that you see and going to get it even cleaner. Good way to do this is to just take our sponge, just fill it completely. Look at that. It's mostly bubbles. We want water in there too. So get all that in there. Engage. Install. Now this one, the clips are missing, so I'm just going to use a thumb. I'm going to hold that like that. And boy, is that going to take off that. That's nice. It's going to take off all that grit. So here, if I rub my fingers here, I can't feel that, that grids come off. We've washed that, that grit. That's why we do the second washing. Okay, that's excellent. So soap stays in here. This goes back. Do not put this on the grass. Do not put this on the table. It goes directly in our, in our bucket here. Now, on oh, this one that's really, really bad, the last thing we would do get one of these icky sponges. And I'll show you what the icky sponge does. One more. One more rinse with the icky sponge. There we go taking that outside off so quite quite clean now so we can proceed with the rest of the wash it's going to drip dry uh, when you're done with the rest of the wash give this a, a rag dry use a rag to, to dry it off we're going to now recognize it's actually a bike chain uh, and at the end we're going to do some lubrication right at right at the end before we're done